So now we're on to the middle pages. So choose the papers that you want to sit on this double page spread. I've gone with the check on both from this collection um, because I thought it was a really good background for colours to pop out of. And you want to stick your papers in place. So I've got tape on the back of mine, which let's just take off but you could add it with glue. Um, the reason I'm using tape is because these are large paper pieces and I really want them to sit nice and flat on the page. So let's just whiz round. Come on tape. And then I'm just going to move the album towards me, line my paper up at the bottom, which will then mean it's lined up at the top. And stick it in place. Press down around all the edges. And then I'm going to do the other one as well at the same time. If you wanted to, you could add a little bit of glue in the middle just to hold the centre of the paper down, um, which I'll do with this one. And you can always do the rabbit ear thing. So take your top strip of tape off and then bend the side bits out. And then position it in place at the top of your page. Press down. Then just lift up the bottom edge and take the bottom strip off. And pull the sides. But what we didn't do was put any glue in the middle, but never mind. That will be fine. So those are the pages covered and then this page I'm going to have a little tag um, like this coming out from behind what's going to go on here. So if you want to add tags behind your pictures, your sort of photo mats, then bear in mind you need some space above if you're doing a portrait photo mat and to one side if you're doing a landscape one. Landscape and portrait on here or the other way around whichever way you want to do it. I'm going landscape on the left so we're going to create another photo mat with acetate like we did on the inside cover but first I've got a little border strip um, that was left over and I'm just going to stick that in place so that it runs vertically and I want to stretch it I think I'm just going to map the page out so this is the photo mat and then I'm using one of the stickers the round stickers so I want and that's just going to sit on the acetate so I just want enough room for that to sit on the page and then this can come down here. I wasn't sure if that was long enough, but it is, so that's okay. So I've mounted this sticker strip on a little bit of black card, cut it out. And I'm going to come in and just follow one of those stripes in the check, one of the vertical stripes to get that straight. And then I've got this lovely little chicken that says, hello, Oops, it was a sticker. So I've mounted it on a little bit of black card. So fiddle around with your embellishments. If you've got dies, have a look at the dies that you've got. Look at the shapes that you can cut out from the paper that you've got and just create 
some dimensional elements for your page. But don't overcrowd it, keep it quite simple and then when you put your photograph in the photo will pop. So now we're going to make another portrait style, oh there it is, um, landscape. It's like left and right, I'm getting really confused. A landscape style photo mat. So you want to remove the backing tape, exactly the same as we did on the inside cover. Let's just do that. Line up your acetate so that it sits perfectly over your black mat base and then just pull the tape off. Now if you wanted to you could stick a piece of paper in here and your size would be four by six just but I've got an ephemera card cut your paper to slide in rather than sticking it in if you want to or you can do both you can cut paper that always stays on the background and then cut another piece of paper out to go on the top if you wanted to that maybe coordinates with that paper underneath but I'm going to use this fab ephemera card and then we want to stick this border strip so this is the half inch border strip across the top so inky the edges and then a little bit of glue on the back smooth it out so that it doesn't squidge out onto the acetate because if it squidges you'll never get it off and then let's just work on the flat surface line that up and stick it in place along the top edge of the acetate and card now you could stick an embellishment at the top there but I thought I'd put it on the acetate at the bottom and then if you lift it up the acetate comes up and you can slide your picture underneath it was my thinking so I'm going to put a little bit of glue on here and I want it to be half on half off in the center and I think that diamond is the center so just line it up there now that's a one and a quarter inch black circle so I'm going to punch another one out and stick it to the underside let's just get the punch this is an old stamping up punch so a little bit of glue on the back side of this spread it out again and then I'm just going to lift that up and slide it underneath very carefully and stick it in place. And that makes a nice little tab. And then flip over on the back. I've already put my double sided tape on there. So I want this to be a pocket as well as a photo frame mat. So let's just take those backing strips off. And then I'm just going to just roll it in my fingers just to get a slight curve. And that just helps when you're trying to put something underneath it. And then I'm going to line it up with one of the vertical plants and stick it in place and then when we come to decorate tags the tag slides really nicely behind the photo and the little flap lifts up so that you can pull your picture swap it and change it and it's not permanently stuck so likey likey that page not over complicated but it looks really fresh. And then for this side, I've gone with the portrait style photo mat. A couple of borders, a couple of stickers. Let me just punch out one more circle. So, 
just move this out of the way. So let's do the acetate first. Actually, 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 let's stick this on first. No, it's difficult, isn't it? Decisions, decisions. Let's do the acetate first. So I'm going to hold the acetate over the photo frame, get it perfectly square, then hold it, lift it up, remove the backing tape. And now the acetate's moved. And stick it down. And then I've got my half inch strip of flowery paper to go on the top. So stick yours in place too with a little bit of glue and squidge down. Line that up across the top short edge to cover that sticky tape. Slide your picture in or paper if you've cut paper. Love that. And then I'm going to do it differently this time. I'm going to stick the solid black circle underneath first. A little bit of glue. Squidged. So I'm just going to lift that up and slide it under. Again, I'm using the eyeball technique. I wobble my head when I do that. I don't know why. <laughs> when I say that. Then I'm going to stick this little circle over the top. And then that's a nice little button to lift that acetate up with. And then I've already put tape on the back of here. I've left the side um, nearest to the spine open. So um, I'm just going to position it first before I take the tape off or the backings off. So it's going to go over here again because I want a tag to go inside and this, I like the border strip but it wasn't long enough for what I wanted. So I decided to add that little black sticker mounted on black card at the end of that strip. So let's stick the strip in place. Again this was a sticker mounted on black card and then just cut out and I'm going to come in here I think. Like that. And then I haven't used any foam pads, I've just stuck things straight down onto the page. The only foam is up under the picture on the front cover. And then centre that up and stick it down. I've brought it in slightly from the edge. That's fine. Lovely. And then get rid of the glue on the fingers and then flip over and let's take this backing tape off and now this one came in four squares so I'm going to bring this one in four squares as well and then they sort of look similar. And yeah, there. Nice little flap. Nice little flap. <laughs> I love it. So how fab does that look? I really love this collection. 